Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to check your YouTube analytics. Now, why is this important for you as a business owner using YouTube to grow your leads and your network? Well, it's important to know how your videos are performing and how you can look at this data to see whether there are videos on your channel that are working really well or there are videos on your channel that aren't working so well and what you can do to help the ones that aren't working so well and also identifying the ones that are working well, ask yourself, can you actually do more videos like that to bring more people to your business and raise more awareness? The best thing for me to do is to show you, number one, how to find your analytics for your YouTube channel on the desktop first. And then I'm going to jump over to my iPhone and show you how to find the analytics inside the YouTube studio, which is one of YouTube's apps that you can download for free onto your phone. OK, so let's just jump into my screen share and I'll show you how to find where your analytics are. Now, a lot of people who have a YouTube channel don't tend to know where to find the analytics. Now, this video is not going to go deep into each level of analytics. I just want to show you how you can find month on month what's going on with your channel. Quickest way is to go to your channel on YouTube and then click your icon here on the top right and go to your YouTube studio. Your YouTube studio is where most of the information will be found. As you can see, you get a quick snapshot of your channel as soon as you open your channel up. You get what's known as your latest video information. You get your sort of current channel subscribers, a summary of what's been happening, the top videos in the last 48 hours. You also get on the right here some access to some news. There's some ideas for you and so on and so on. Let's look at your analytics. So obviously there's a snapshot here, but the best place to look for your analytics is to come down here on the left-hand side and go to the analytics tab. Now, this will give you a much more um, in-depth view. And the first thing you want to do is to decide what view point do you want to look at? So it is default, it will go to the last 28 days. If like me, you've been doing something in December, maybe Vlogmas or trying to upload a video every day, you might want to see whether you just get December. So to do that, all you need to do is you need to come over to this drop down here and you can either go um, custom, which means you put in the date, or it handily gives you December. So this video has been recorded in December 2022. This is the 31st of December. But obviously, this type of data that I'm sharing with you in this video is timeless. And you can actually go and have a little look at it yourself. So in December, my channel had 16,300 views and as you can see if you hover over it, it tells you what that means channel views compared to the previous period over time this can help you spot high performing videos anticipate cha seasonal changes and determine whether to upload new videos this includes your public videos your private unlisted and deleted videos if you upload a video to your youtube channel and you keep it private who's going to see it the whole idea of using YouTube as a business owner is to raise your brand awareness. And to do that, your videos need to be on public so that everybody can see them. So let's just jump back in and um, let's have a little look. Watch time, if you hover over it, is your channel watch time compared to the previous period, how many subscribers you had over a period of time. And for me, because my channel's monetized, how much money they think I'll be earning in that period of time. Now, here along this graph, you can see that there is a different types of video. So here is um, shorts video, then it's a published video. So shorts compared to long form video. And you can see I've been doing two videos every other month, every, like a week, sometimes three, depending on what I had to share. And of course, you can see along here whether I missed a day, I actually just missed one day. That's all this week, this month. What I want to bring to your attention in here is two areas. Basically, there is this area here on the right, which I think is really important here. It gives you a bit more of a snapshot of real time data. So real time live count. So what's happening to your subscribers real time? the views in the last 48 hours of your channel, not one specific video, but of your channel as a whole, and the top content over a period of this time. So in December, the top content I had. Scrolling down, you can also see the top content in this period as well. So here, here you can see your top 
content in this period. So this is not necessarily content that you published this month, but this is content overall of all your videos you have, what's performing the best again in this month. So my best performing video at the moment is how to share a post from your Facebook business page to your personal profile. That's a long form video, which is performing really well. Then I have some short videos. And then I have an older video from this time last year, which is also performing very well. So you can see which types of videos are performing well and which ones are not. You can also see the latest content here. It gives you a snapshot where you can do the last um, 10 videos. So you can have a little look at how they're getting on. And that gives you an idea of what you can recreate over and over again. You can, of course, go a bit more in depth by going to the content tab. Here you'll see which type of content is making um, traffic to your channel, whether it's a long video, whether it's a short video, whether it's a live stream. You can also see which type of video is bringing in more subscribers, whether your long form video brings in new subscribers or your shorts or your live stream and the typical views over the, the period of 28 days for you. You can also see which impressions and how they led to watch time, but we're not going to go into that too much depth. Publish content, how much you've done, how viewers are finding you. This is super important. And this is something that you can think about going forward. I always look at how viewers are finding me, whether it's externally through Google search, whether it's shorts feed, YouTube search, channel direct or unknown channel pages, or whether YouTube is suggesting my content. And remix is when you can create shorts from your long form video. So there's another video on that. If you want to check that out, you can do that by clicking the little exclamation mark up here and it will take you to that video. Of course, you can look at your audience here, which is, in, again, in more depth. You can also look at revenue and you can also look if you have uh, research. This is really handy. Your viewers searches, what's bringing people to my channel. And if I want to do a search where that's going to stand on my my account. So that's just a brief overview of what's happening on your channel if you go into the desktop version. Now I'm going to share with you the mobile version and we'll have a little look at how you can find this information on your mobile phone. So the best way to find this information on your mobile phone is you can go to what's known as the YouTube Studio. You can see it here on my mobile phone. It's this icon. You go into the App Store or the Google Play Store. You can type in YouTube Studio and this will come up for you. When you open it for the first ever time, it will ask you to log into your account and you'll have to log in via your Google login. But once you've done that, you won't have to log in anymore. Again, like the desktop, it gives you a snapshot of your channel analytics over the last 28 days. And it, you can see how um, your views are, watch time, subscribers and estimate. Now, this is in comparison to the month before. So this is the first time you've ever looked at your analytics. You're still going to YouTube will pull that data from the month before. Mm -hmm. Also down here, you'll get your latest published content, how it's performing and the last three. And then comments are super important, whether they've got any comments from any of your videos at all. Again, it's similar to the desktop. You have a contents tab. And when you click that, YouTube has cleverly separated your content into videos, shorts, live and playlists. So again, you can look at your different content and what's performing and what's not. You can also get a bigger snapshot of your analytics by clicking on the analytics tab at the bottom. Again, same as the desktop. So this is really like wh where you prefer to go, whether you prefer to look at it on your mobile or your desktop. You get your views. If you swipe to the right on your views, you'll get your watch time in comparison to the last 28 days and so on and so on. Top content again, real time views again. At the top here, you can go to content. Again, the tabs are similar. You get your views, what's happening with the subscribers, the published content, the typical views, how people are finding you, remix. Audience is super important if you're going for a specific type of audience, looking at whether you've got new viewers, people are coming back. You might not get this, your viewers are on YouTube time. You have to have a bit more data. Sometimes this shows up, sometimes it doesn't. This is really useful for you to find out when your viewers are on YouTube and this will help you to determine when to publish your videos. And of course it gives you your age range and gender. So, and also top ge geographic areas. So really important to have a little look at this information, especially after you've worked hard, maybe you've increased how often you're publishing, et cetera, et cetera. And down the bottom here, we've also got this comments tab. This is really good so that you can keep on top of the comments that are coming to your channel so that you can make sure that you've liked them, 
um, you've hearted them and you've replied to them as well if you want to. So it can you can do all of these sorts of things um, really easily from within the app, which is super useful. It's really important to reply to your comments, but that we'll talk about in another video. So that's pretty much how you get that snapshot of your um, account. What I suggest you do if you are using video on YouTube specifically to help you grow your brand awareness is to take a snapshot every month so that you have a comparison. It's really good for you to see when you're looking through your phone or your pictures on your desktop, how easily it is to see how the growth is happening and also whether by adding more videos a month, you get more subscribers or you get more watch time. Has adding more videos a month led to more discovery calls with you? Has it led to people reaching out to you? Has it led to an increased traffic on your website? All those sorts of things can be determined by the data that you get from your analytics inside of YouTube. My name is Anita Wong and I'm a YouTube and video marketing expert specifically aimed at helping other entrepreneurs age 40 plus to actually build their business using YouTube. My, myself, I'm 50 and I'm 51 in 2023. And I use YouTube as the, the starting point for all my content when it comes to growing my business. So it's something that I'm very passionate about helping others to do. So if you want to learn how I can help you grow your business using video, then just hit that discovery call link in my description and I will be happy to have a quick call for you for free to determine whether I can help you with any of my services. If you have any questions about this video and looking at your analytics, then don't forget to um, drop them in the comments. And if you want to learn more about using video marketing to build your business, then hit that subscribe button, give me a like, and of course, share away. Have an amazing start to the new year. And if you're watching this at another time, have a great day and I will see you in the next video.